looked like that, I saw this figure, this shadowy figure of a person, and it walked like that just, just easy like that. And I came to the one conclusion that the place was haunted. Of the workers, he maintained that one night he looked around and saw this figure about 30 feet away from him and it squealed out and it said, uh, I am Isaac, I am Isaac, and then disappeared through a nearby wall. The fellows that were in the Crystal Factory at the time were convinced of it. The life was scared out of them. In those days, one man was kept on late at night to keep the furnaces burning. The unions decided it needed of two men because of sightings of Isaac the ghost. So I thought to myself, it's not a bad yarn. And we did the story. It's a wee bit of fun, a wee bit of crack. It actually caused a bit of a stir at the time. The stories became increasing. There's more instances of sightings of this particular ghost. You know that blood-curdling feeling that you, that you would get? I sensed that there was something up there. When um, Isaac apparently moved uh, sites from the original Tyrone Crystal site, this is where his first sighting was here. So he was clearly hard up for a job if he made the move. <laughs> a few of the gentlemen that, that worked in the old Tyrone Crystal factory, they still work here. So it then it, it created a lot of um, conversation. Stories then started to come out. Isaac was always, he's always in the ether. He's always talked about if, if, like if the lights go out or if the alarm goes off or something, oh, that's Isaac. And the guy said, let's, let's do something about Isaac. It's Halloween, we'll do a fright night. So it's all gonna be covered up and darkened. People jumping out, different things like that. Plenty of crack over it anyway. Ah! Isaac! Isaac! <laughs> but it's amazing that all those 30 years ago, here we are, Isaac the ghost. <laughs> and Isaac, all I can say is, see if you're watching, fair play to you, kid. <laughs>